Hey, this is Todd. And Elise. And this is In Our Element, the video you've all been waiting for. We've, wow, asked, uh, <laughs> we've asked several times on uh, some Facebook groups and one of our videos uh, to post us some questions for a Q&A, and this is it. All right, so we got a que uh, <laughs> All right, so we got a few questions. That's more wine, Todd. We didn't even start drinking it. I did. <laughs> I've uh, got a, quite a few questions from people, um, so here we go. Yeah. Uh, first one is from uh, our buddy Brad, Crow Flies Hiking. Uh, favorite music on the trail or don't listen to music on the trail? I, I'll answer that one. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yep. Okay, well, first of all, I am working on being present on the trail and keeping my mouth shut, which is very difficult for me to do. So I don't listen to music on the trail. I try to listen to just... The sounds of nature that surround me when I'm not running my mouth. Todd could never listen to music on trail because I would just drown it out. With All right, my... well, don't make it too long. Okay. Uh, <laughs> when we kayak, I always play usually reggae, right? Reggae. Yeah, usually if we're, if we're on a river somewhere by ourselves without other people around. Reggae um, and rivers just go together yeah, so well. She has her little... Uh, Bluetooth little, speaker. Little Bluetooth speaker, and as long as there isn't other people around, she'll play some reggae or some kind of music. Yeah. All right, on number two here, uh, Melissa Cop May asked us, what do you carry in your pack that some might find unusual? Uh, unusual. I have a little stuffed bear named Blaze that Hangs stops off the her photo ops once in a while. Um, I can't think of anything unusual that is in my pack. We're pretty normal, ordinary people. We have a bidet, but we have not <laughs> taken that out yet because well, I need to practice how to squirt it on my butt. And it's pretty normal now. Um, oh, I guess it is. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, she also asked, do you watch movies on backpacking trips? And if so, what kind of movies? We don't. We never have watched movies. Um, we haven't been on long enough trips, really. We're so exhausted when we get to camp, well, usually. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. We're usually so tired when we get to camp. We like to sit around a fire at night and hang out. And, yeah. um, and so we we watch of, movies at home. Yeah, we watch movies at home. We don't really feel like it's something we want to take on the trail with us. Um, if you had no budget, what would your big three or four be, and what dream backpacking trip would you go on? I think um, we already have the big three that we like, except maybe the sleep pad. I would like to maybe try a Neo well, or Well, yeah, sleep, sleep pad isn't really part of the big three. It's tent sleep backpack. Sleep system and, and sleep system. And sleep system. Yeah, I mean, we may experiment with some different sleep pads than we have. See the um, Summit, maybe, or the, uh, what is it called, Neo Air? Yeah, something. Xtherm. Xtherm. Yeah. Nicole Heikthot asks, what destinations are high on your list? Well, that's easy. That's easy. Uh, first one is first one is John, John Muir, Muir Trail. Trail. <laughs> if we ever win that damn lottery, yes. and, or get enough time off work to go do it. And I know this is cliche, probably, because everybody's doing this now. But I really want to go to Pictured Rocks. I want to kayak. Pictured it, Rocks. She, he, yeah, she he wants, wants to hike it. I want to hike it. She I wants to kayak, kayak it. it. Uh, eventually, maybe we'll get to do both. And then yeah. El, the El Camino de Santiago would be really nice because that's a different kind of hike completely. It's more about culture it's a pilgrimage kind of hike um get to try out different foods stay in different kinds of uh, environments different hostels and i really would be psyched to do that but we are kind of like poor working folks so working working folks so <laughs> well you know what i mean we're, so we're, broke, the, working we can't pay. we're the working class people so <laughs> that you know it would be a lot to get there but uh i'll probably butcher this name mike bone line bone bone Oh, Boy, Bowen, you, Bowen line, lean? Bowling? Bowling? Uh, Bowling. Bowling. Uh, Bowling. Which of you is the first to want to break when hiking? Me. Well, uh, not always. You more than me. Um, the only times I usually want to take a break is if I get any kind of an issue with my IT, IT band, band going on once in a while or something like that. I might want to stop for a few minutes to rest. Now, in my defense, I have no left kneecap and I have some <laughs> titanium rods and pins and two spinal fusions, so I probably want to take a few more breaks than him. But we're always agreeable on it, you know, and he doesn't get that much further ahead of me. Yeah. Um, let's see. He also asks, how long is it? Typical video take to edit. Ugh. That's. I'm not home that, usually, or I go away because there's a lot of obscenities involved. That's, a, that's so, an ongoing um, thing. When I first started editing videos, <laughs> it obviously took me a lot longer. 
uh, as I'm going along learning more and more about editing videos and we use DaVinci Resolve 17 which is an extremely complicated program used by um, film studios uh, you know to make major motion pictures with and all kinds of stuff so it's a lot more than I need so I've had to kind of learn the ins, ins and outs of that and I'm still learning every video I do I learn something new and I get a little bit quicker I'd rather hire an editor but uh, then again <coughs> funding is not there average average time for uh, editing a video if it's if it's a 10 minute video and I've done it in a few just a few short takes um, I would probably say within an hour or so. I could usually binge watch a couple episodes of yeah. something. <laughs> it really just depends on how involved, how many cuts are involved, uh, how much tweaking is involved, how many things I want to add in with additional pictures or music or different things. Uh, if it's a simple video like this will probably be, uh, there really won't be a whole lot of editing involved in it. Um, Unless he farts or hiking. something. Hiking. <laughs> just hiking videos <laughs> obviously take a little longer to put together. Um, gear reviews aren't too bad. Um, sometimes it takes longer to shoot them than edit them because we have to keep doing multiple takes. Uh, so next one, why don't you have merch yet? Ugh. Well, actually, and hopefully by this weekend, mm. we will have merch. Uh, merch. I've been working on uh, getting our logo cleaned up in higher resolution. Probably have some merchandise coming your way real soon within the next few days to a week. Um, what is your longest hike without taking your backpacks off? That's per day. Uh, I haven't really day? thought about it. Yeah, well, I guess we did a twenty-mile hike. We took we did take our packs off once. A twenty-mile day on the yeah. And to be honest, every time I pee, I take my backpack off because I have not really mastered the art of peeing with backpack. <laughs> so does that count? I don't know if that counts you, or not. You, <laughs> when we take breaks, she's more often to take her backpack off. Because of my back leave, issues. Oh, yeah, I just leave mine on because it's just. It's but just now with easier. the new chicken trampers, we probably will be taking them off less. Yeah. I think. Uh, Terry Young asks, is there something in your pack that you take on every trip but rarely use, and if so, what is it? Too much damn food. <laughs> it's, I, again, yeah, besides besides taking too much food sometimes, um, really we've dialed in our gear pretty well uh, to know what we use and what we don't use. Uh, our so first we, aid kit, which will always go with us, but I don't think we've had to use it yet. Luckily, yeah, luckily, luckily not. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I I think we've got it, things dialed in pretty well. So, I mean, every time we come home and unpack our packs, we've either used everything in our pack or we have it for a specific purpose. Like you're talking about a first aid yeah. kit or, you know, the Garmin. He likes, to, you know. he likes to forget to put a lot of shit in our pack. <laughs> like spoons. Yes, one time I did forget our We had to use spoon. our dig dig. It's rated edges. <laughs> it, 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 that was before we ever used it to dig a cat hole. Yes, so, yes. Yeah, we'll it was clarify. still brand new and clean. Okay. Uh, Taylor McDonald asks, what do Floridians say about Georgia's? We're jealous Georgians. as <laughs> You guys have mountains. We have nothing. Yes. Uh, Georgians are definitely uh, Metro Andy. Uh, all you people up in Georgia. Um, yeah, definitely. You have mountains. We do not. <laughs> but you're awesome and we love watching your videos. We have, we have swamps and we have alligators. And, Which is and getting kind of old. Moccasins. Every trail is starting to look <laughs> so. just like the next one, except for the Wild Bison and Horses Trail, which we haven't seen the Wild yeah. Bison yet. Uh, Melanie Scalf asks, what life events happened that prompted the start of your hiking adventures and YouTube launch? Ooh. Well, I don't know what prompted the YouTube launch because I honestly was against it. Um, for me personally, I started hiking as a teenager. My stepfather um, took us on family vacations and we hiked and camped in the Adirondacks quite often. And then I hiked a good section of the AT, mostly New Jersey, New York. Hmm. And then, you know, I had life happened. I had to stop hiking for years and I had a career and five children. And then when I married my high school sweetheart here about 10 years ago, a couple of years ago, I really wanted to get back into hiking. And I honestly, I didn't know if you were going to be into it or not. Yeah, no, I, I, I've always been uh, camping. Uh, RVing, Well, mostly. I grew up camping with my parents, and I usually stayed in a tent outside the RV most of the time, depending on where we were traveling. And we I started always, kayaking uh, first, though, and you said, oh, yeah, we, we did start, hiking, yeah, too. Yeah, we did start kayaking first, and then I said, well, it would be good to, you know, there's hiking trails along these rivers here. <laughs> and he likes hiking better than kayaking, yeah. actually. I like both yeah, equally, I, but... I like hiking better than kayaking. But I don't know I if there was any... I think after my back, my second back surgery, 
I really wanted to prove to myself that I could still do the things I really love to do. And yeah. having somebody that's just as into it, yeah. which I never thought you would be, <laughs> but uh, it was really awesome. Yeah. Um, let's see, Tim Buck, uh, he asked, what do you do when you aren't backpacking? Watch backpacking videos, yes. <laughs> of course. Watch your uh, YouTube channel there, Plan our next trip. And uh, yeah, we watch all of our YouTube uh, people that we know, our friends' uh, videos, and plan our next trips. Well, plus, um, I mean, I, I'm in school for uh, canine physical therapy, massage therapy, so I do that on the side. Mm -hmm. um, we binge watch a lot of stuff. We're not very interesting people yeah. when we're home. Yeah, we're tired. We're, yeah, we're, we work a lot of hours, and when we're not working, if we're not backpacking, we're home. Usually I paint. stuck in front of the TV, or she's painting, or working on school, things like that. Yeah. Dustin Thompson asks, people say you pack your fears. What is your greatest fears while hiking reflected in your backpack? I don't pack for fears. The only I, thing that I, I, I don't. The only thing that I carry, did, I guess, bear my spray. wife, yeah, Elise is going to say bear spray. Me if I'm out in, in bear country or somewhere where there's there's bear, I carry bear spray. I mean, All right, maybe just, I would agree with grizzly bears, but black bear. <laughs> it's just one of my things. Kathy's Outdoor Adventures, I've been thinking of getting one of the pee rags. Do you find it helpful or more of a nuisance? That's oh, it you. is so helpful. <laughs> it is so helpful. I love it. I don't have to worry about... I hate the idea of burying toilet paper in a cat hole. I've seen... I haven't been personally on the AT when this has happened, but I've seen pictures of toilet paper everywhere. Toilet paper blooms. Yeah, and that alone just pisses me off. Um, but and and then having to get into the pee, you know, into the poop kit because you have to keep your toilet paper waterproof and it's a pain in the ass. I could just unclip it, use it, clip it back up again, put it away. You know, if I'm on a long trip, I can find some way to you know rinse it off, clean it. I definitely would not go out without my cool cloth. Mm. Nope. All right, and the next one, let's see. Uh, what was your biggest fear when you started backpacking? Uh, my biggest fear, I guess, when I started backpacking and started getting out into, again, out into bear country was... We didn't really bears, have bears. We do, but... snakes, cougars. I mean, my, my, I guess my biggest fear of an animal cougars. would be cougars, uh, Florida panthers, um, Second would probably be bears. Third, snakes, only because for, sometimes you don't see them. And for me, it's ticks. Because tick, my yeah, sister has are, Lyme disease. Yeah, ticks are a big thing, But too. using Picaridin, I really don't really have that for anymore. My biggest fear when we started again was if I could even do it. Because mm -hmm. I've had several surgeries. Uh, it was months and months of recovery with both my back surgeries. I've had no left kneecap for 25 you really went, years. You really over all this. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. PFAM5 asks, um, my question would be, what is one state you would love to hike in that you haven't yet? Bonus if you name a particular trail or park. Again, it would probably, for me... John Muir Trail, the John, Sierra yep. Nevada. John Muir Trail, Sierra Yosemite, Nevada. Yosemite and ends at yep. Mount Whitney. Yep, that would be your... So if you want to send us hike. some donations so we can go on this trip. <laughs> that would be absolutely awesome. <laughs> Maybe buy our merch. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, I got a couple more questions. Uh, DMS Adventures. Hey, uh, if you both had to agree on one freeze-dried backpacking meal or flavor, not a brand, for three nights straight, what would it be? And I'm sure we could probably say this both together. Pad, pad thai, thai with chicken. chicken. <laughs> the pad thai so with chicken good. is incredible. Um, for breakfast, biscuits and gravy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so good. I thought it was going to be absolutely If all we disgusting. had to do, all we had to have for dinners and breakfast were those two, that would that would be all we'd ever need. You know. And some hiker wine. And some hiker wine. Yeah. Uh, Blake Levy asked, uh, what's your favorite piece of gear when you're backpacking? <laughs> That's easy. Well, maybe not. Uh, Durston 2P tent. Yeah, that would be my first choice, that would too. My, my first uh, most favorite piece of gear. Second most favorite piece of gear would probably be our chicken, chicken tramper trampers. backpacks. <laughs> and this was not rehearsed, either. <laughs> no. um, beyond that, beyond the tent and the backpacks... Um, we like all our gear. Yeah, we, we, yeah we like all of our gear that we use. We, we've kind of dialed it in over the over the you know few years we've been doing this. And, um, mm hmm so I think we've I think we got it pretty well. I mean, there's some new things that come out. I'm sure we'll try and some. I some want a drone. You, she wants a drone. <laughs> He's gonna fly it. Uh, Greg Morton Outdoors asks, "What is your one piece of gear you cannot do without?" Our X Med. Well, besides our tent, 
I would say are Helinox Chair Zeros. Oh yes. <laughs> we had yes. to sit, we had to name one luxury item that we would not go without. I anymore. hate sitting on the ground <laughs> after hiking 20 miles and having a stick poke me in the ass from my sit pad. <laughs> yep. Um, the last question here from Following Walkers World is, Hey guys, uh, what is your hopes and goals for your YouTube channel? I think that is probably a little bit different um, for you than it depending is. Depending on who you ask, for me, my goal would be to. Um, what is your goal, Todd? Uh, what is my goal? <laughs> my know. goal is to be famous and be rich beyond belief. No, I'm just kidding. To we'll never wait get, for that Never money. get that from a backpacking a YouTube dollar channel. Late, <laughs> a dollar short in a dream. No, I, I, I like being involved with the uh, the backpacking hike community. They're all a great bunch of people that we've talked to so far. Uh, we haven't got to meet a lot of them in person yet. Hint, hint. Uh, I'd like to go on some backpacking <laughs> trips with more of you guys. We've never gone on trips with anybody but ourselves, yeah. except once we brought a friend, and yeah. that was kind yeah, of Yeah, we pretty much... Uh, Pretty much go by ourselves most of the time, um, but yeah, uh, to be part of the the, uh, the community, to give back, to um, help people on their journey, uh, to show gear reviews, you know, helping people out mainly is my is my goal. Um, would we like to be monetized? Again, there's not much money in uh, YouTube backpacking channels. Um, I couldn't care less either way. We have we yeah. work hard. We yeah. get by okay. Yeah. Could be better, so I mean, the monetization thing is. We'd really starve ever. anyway. I mean, I'd love <laughs> to see us eventually have a thousand subscribers or more. I mean, that would just it would be a good ego boost. You know, that, that many people would actually want to watch us. Your ego's big enough. <laughs> Um, what, um, what is your goal for a YouTube channel? I didn't want the YouTube channel in the first place, honestly. Yeah. Um, but now that we have it, um, I just, and this is going to sound really like stupid, but mm -hmm. we have a YouTube channel and we love it. We love showing our videos, but I want people to be more present out in nature and maybe they can get that some from vicariously through us. I mean, we don't have exciting like adventures like some of you guys do, like you can go all over the country and stuff like that. But, and just to show that like just average people in their fifties can just pick up backpacking again after yep. years and years of Absolutely. not doing shit, uh, and that you can yeah. do it. It's just, you know, to motivate people basically. I would, I don't give a crap how many subscribers we have. He loses sleep over it sometimes, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you're getting better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I, you know I just want people to know that they can do it and watch somebody's journey maybe and, and get some uh, inspiration from it that's all yeah yeah. I mean we'd like to do a couple backpacking trips and we probably will without try to video. do it without any cameras with us or anything else and that'll probably be the day that we see Bigfoot uh, when we do well, the Florida camera. skunk ape where we live but, <laughs> so. but and I'm you know and I, I'm gonna do and this is gonna sound hypocritical too but I'm gonna you know I plan on doing a video on being present in nature and on a hike it's going to be a video during, you know, on a YouTube channel, but I'm going to be present. He's just going to film it. But I just want people to be able to be more aware, especially people that have YouTube channels, that yeah. they can concentrate more on not getting the perfect shot or yeah. digging out gear out of their packs because you're just missing so Every much. Every trip doesn't have to be a YouTube video. I mean, um, I take a lot of pictures um, when I hike, but I don't do any of the filming at all, and yeah. I feel like he misses stuff sometimes. I'm going to do a quick shout out. Uh, I got another sticker in the mail uh, from like this one too. Carlson's Adventures. Uh, it's a really cool sticker. Thank you very much. And uh, we got to get a sticker board up here at some point because we got a pile of stickers we need to get yep. on display. Uh, one other thing we wanted to mention uh, we recently became ambassadors for Wildland Coffee. Love coffee. Love coffee. Love this coffee. It is coffee in a big tea bag, so it is very simple and easy to take on trail. Not instant coffee. Uh, not instant coffee. It's actually real coffee in a, in a big tea bag. Whatever you do, don't try Trader Joe's instant coffee. It is oh, that is disgusting. terrible. Disgusting. Uh, with the creamer and the sugar mixed in, Ugh, that was the worst thing we ever had. Uh, but yeah, Wildland Coffee will be doing uh, a full review on this probably sometime soon. Sometime. Oh, and, and we're going to be uh, doing a live thing. But we'll make an announcement of that later on down the line. Yeah. Later. Yeah. So, um, until next time, we'll see you outside. outside. <laughs> Boy, that was long-winded. You can cut it up a little if you have to. Where's was I too long-winded? Where's my shutter offer? I f***ing know, Todd. Right there, <sighs> we're sitting on it, though.